Hi, let's start today by telling ourselves the truth. I am loved, I am smart, I am kind. Good job. I'm gonna read a book to you today, and this book is going to have lots of opposites in it. Do you know what opposites are? Opposites are things that are completely different. So if I point and say up, the opposite would be down. If I do opposites for, let's see, loud, the opposite is quiet. Those are examples of opposites. So this book is going to tell us even more opposites. And something I love about this book is it has opposites in English, like I'm talking right now in English, and it has opposites in Spanish. So we'll get to learn some new words today. Let's see what the book is. Here is the front of the book that we're going to read today. The front of the book has the title, the name of the book. But we can look at the back of the book too. On the back, there's pictures sometimes and some words. But we always start reading at the front of the book. The title or the name of this book is Marta, Big and Small. There's some opposites, big and small. Do you see a big animal on the front of this book? Yeah, the elephant. Oh, look, he's saying something. Hello. Do you see a small animal on the front of this book? Yeah, down here, there's some kind of small bug. He's saying something too. Hola. That's a Spanish word. Hola means hello in Spanish. Remember, every book has an author. The author writes the words. The author of this book is Jen Arena. She's the author. She wrote the words. A book also has an illustrator. The illustrator draws the pictures. This book is illustrated by Angela Dominguez. She is the illustrator. She drew the pictures. And I'm reading this book today with permission from Scholastic. Let's open it up and read the story. Marta is una niña. There's Marta. Now we heard a Spanish word, niña. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Is Marta a girl or a boy? Marta is a girl. Niña means girl. No words on this page. Do I see animals outside? <gasps> An ordinary girl. No words on this page. Whose feet are those? <gasps> Marta's. To a bug, Marta is grande. Big, very big. Grande means big. Who's big on this page? Marta is big. To an elephant, Marta is pequeña. Small, very small. Now who is big? The elephant is big, grande. Who is small? Marta. Marta is small, pequeña. To a horse, Marta is lenta. Slow, very slow. Oh, look at the next page. Oh, there's the horse. The horse is fast. And Marta is slow, lenta. To a turtle, Marta is rápida. Fast, very fast. Now 
Marta is fast, rápida. The turtle is slow. Oh, wow. What animal is that? <gasps> a lion. To a lion, Marta is tranquila. Quiet, very quiet. <gasps> Marta is tranquila, quiet. To a rabbit, Marta is ruidosa. Loud, very loud. Oh, now the rabbit is the quiet one. And Marta is loud, ruidosa. Oh, what animal is that? A snake. To a snake, Marta is sabrosa. What does that mean? Tasty. Very tasty. Marta? Donde estas? Where are you? Donde estas means where are you? Oh no, where do you think she went? Phew! That means, oh good, she's safe. What did she do to solve the problem? She climbed up the tree. Marta is ingeniosa, clever, very clever. That means she's smart, she solved the problem. Bye-bye, snake. Marta is loud like El Leon, lion. Quiet like El Conejo, rabbit. Fast like El Caballo, horse. Slow like La Tortuga, turtle. Big like El Elefante, elephant. Small like El Insecto, bug. And clever, very clever, like una niña. Marta is a very smart girl. I really like that book and I hope that you liked it too. It's fun to learn new words in another language. Now, let's look at some pictures of things that are opposites, and I'll ask you some questions to see if you can figure it out. Look at these two animals. Which animal is big, grande? You're right, the giraffe is the big animal, grande. Which animal is the small animal, pequeña. Right, the spider is the small animal, big and small. They are opposites. Now I see a girl and a cheetah. Which of these pictures would be fast? The cheetah would be the fastest, rápida. Which one would be slower? The girl, she would be slower, lenta. Fast and slow are opposites. Now I see a trumpet, an instrument, and a mouse. Which of these pictures would be Loud, ruidosa, loud. The trumpet would be loud, good job. Which one would be quiet? Tranquila, quiet. You're right, the mouse would be quiet. Loud and quiet are opposites. Thanks for looking at opposites with me. Maybe you could find some things in your house today that are opposites. 
something that's big and something that's small, something that's loud and something that's quiet, something or someone that's fast and something or someone that's slow. You can have fun finding those opposites, those different things in your house or asking your family for ideas of some opposites. Have a great rest of your day and I hope you enjoyed this video.